Wind Pitch is a powerful wind turbine for learning wind power technology and charging of rechargeable batteries for powering remote electronic devices and outdoor leisure activities such as outing. Wind Pitch is designed for students to evaluate the setting angle pitch of the profile blades, so evaluation of pitch angle becomes easy. Three profile blades with aerodynamic properties of aeroplane and helicopter are included. Evaluation of sheet blade properties can also be evaluated with the sheet blade holder. You may evaluate with the including sheet blades or your own blades that are made with polypropylene sheet, scissors, and hole punch. Assembling of wind pitch is very handy. It can be done in five minutes. Take out all components from the box. Extend the base extenders to increase the effective diameter of the base for stable operation. Insert the red and black wire from the large hole, that is the hole on the same side of the screw hole, on the aluminum tube towards the other end of the tube, as shown in the video. If you want to enable the yarn of the turbine, if the wind source, such as a fan, related to the turbine is fixed, you may insert the wires from the other hole on the opposite side of the screw hole to disable the yarn function. Install the turbine on the other side of the aluminum tube. Align the wing of the turbine on the other side of the screw hole and lock the screw all the way if you configure the turbine to enable yarn. Align the wing of the turbine on the other side of the screw hole and lock the screw in the axis of the turbine in the front. Rule the wires through the center hole on the base and insert the aluminum tube all the way to the end. Turn the tube sideways until the holes on the tube are in line with that of the plastic base. Use a screwdriver if required to arrange the wires inside the hole to clear the way for the plastic tip stopper to be inserted. Unscrew the rotor layers to install the profile blades. Pick the same type of blades which can be identified by the number engraved on the root. Install them evenly on the blade holder. Align the levers of the blades to the corresponding holes on the turning layer of the blades. Check that the lines on this layer point to a set of lines on the blade holder layer. If this is not, Move the turning layer by one twelfth of a turn. Secure the two locking layers. Adjust the pitch angle of the blades by adjusting the turning layer. Adjust to a large pitch angle if the wind source is a weak and a smaller pitch angle if the wind source is strong. When the pitch angle is set, secure the two locking layers firmly one by one. Insert the wires to the corresponding spring click terminals on the connector of the turbine and put the whole turbine assembly on a flat surface. Identify the line mark on the shaft side of the rotor to be inserted against the flat surface of the rotor shaft. Push the rotor all the way to the turbine. The wind pitch is now ready to work. Now let us see how powerful this turbine is. We use three pieces of the profile blade with the same specification as the NACA number 44 and set the pitch angle to 11 degree for our setup. We use an energy monitor to measure the various electrical parameters of the setup. Yarring of the turbine is disabled. We start off by putting the wind pitch at a distance to the fan. We turn on the fan with the low speed button. We check the parameters after the rotating speed of the rotor is stable. You may check the parameters by pressing the function button. The parameters at this instance are 
5.60 volt, 113 mA, 0.652 watt, 8.281 joule, 1255 revolution per minute, 40 seconds, 49 ohm. Press the mode button on the left side to displace the first five parameters sequentially in scan mode. Pressing the mode button again disables the scan function and turns off the display after five minutes. Pressing the mode button again enables the scan function and the display will turn off after five minutes. Pressing the mode button again disables the scan function and the display will not turn off. Note that power rating is 0.627 watt at low speed setting. Now, let us turn the fan speed to the middle speed setting. The turbine starts to move by the wind. We hold the turbine with our hand. Note that the power is 0.996 watt at the middle speed setting. Now, let us see the fan speed to the high speed setting. Note that the power is 1.428 watt at the high speed setting. Then we want to increase the wind speed by moving towards the wind source. You may note that the power increases quickly as the turbine moves towards the fan. The highest power we can harvest from this fan is 2.228 watt. Let us see what the other parameters are. They are 150.3 Joule, 2502 revolutions per minute, 2 minutes 19 seconds, 2 minutes 49 ohm, 10.46 volt, and 210 ma. You may also see that this red turbine rotates very steadily at high speed, indicating that the blades are well balanced and the rotor is rotating symmetrically.